30 meters, 20 meters, 17 meters, standing by for touchdown. At Mission Control, these were the last moments of a journey through millions of miles of space, which has taken seven months, and for these scientists, years of work. Touchdown confirmed. <laughs> Just getting a vehicle on from Earth to the surface of Mars is no mean feat. The landing process began 77 miles above the surface. The spacecraft had to slow from over 12,000 miles an hour to walking speed in just seven minutes. And the planet's thin atmosphere and violent dust storms mean slowing it down in a controlled way isn't easy. Most missions to Mars fail. The last one, two years ago, crash-landed. Now that this latest mission has landed safely, InSight will burrow deep into the Martian ground, exploring the red planet in an entirely new way. InSight is the first mission that's going to study the deep interior of Mars, try to understand how active are the quakes on Mars. We call them Mars quakes, not earthquakes. And then we're also sending a probe that's going to drill into Mars about 10 to 15 feet and it's going to understand the heat that flows from the core of Mars. And so all this information will help us understand, is there a liquid core, a solid core? How did Mars form as a planet? And this will help us understand how Earth, as well as any rocky planet in our universe, formed. The first data that InSight sent home was this image of its new view. The lens cover was apparently still on, but you can make out the line of an alien horizon. The probe now has to engage its solar panels to give it the power it needs to unlock what Martian mysteries lie beneath the surface. Geraint Vincent, News at 10.